Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Todd from NC Fit Club, and I'm doing video number three, if I've counted correctly. Video number three on workout shoes and the best shoes for like Insanity, T25, P90X, but right now mainly T25 is where our focus is at. Uh, no pun intended, focus T25. Um, so it's no secret that I'm a Reebok fan, um, just the way it is. It's just how we are. Uh, it doesn't mean that Nikes or New Balance or Under Armour or Asics or any of that stuff isn't the right shoe. It just happens to be that I like Reebok. So I say this every time and every time I get people, go, oh, what about the Airflex or what Air whatever? And those are great if that works for you. I'm just telling you what works for me. And a lot of people seem to ask me and, and follow us and and respect what we say about the Reebok. So let me just kind of remind you, we started off with just the regular Zigs uh, a couple years ago, and then the, the Zig Shark came out, which Alicia loves this shoe. And, the, and by the way, everything I'm gonna show you is gonna be male and female. They have women's versions as well, or yeah, men and women. So Alicia has a pair of Sharks that you see her wearing in a lot of her videos. This, this was my pair. And um, these were good. They're, I don't know if there's a big difference between these and the Zigs. Um, except for the, the bottoms had this little square spongy thing, which was kind of cool, but they're heavy like the Zig shoes are, so they were okay. And then I was hesitant about the Real Flex, and then I decided to try them out. And so I went with the Real Flex Transition 2.0, and this is the red pair that I have, and I fell in love with these shoes. Now, Alicia does not like these shoes. She does not feel that they have as much lateral support when you're doing stuff like Asylum or cardio stuff. She just doesn't duck, dig them. She's got a pair, but she likes to wear the Sharks when she's doing cardio, and then she'll wear these when she's not doing lateral movements. I don't have that issue. I feel like they grip pretty well because the, the, the way the bottoms are made, you can get, I, I feel like you can get decent decent grip with them. The thing that's nice about these, why, the, why I like these compared to the Sharks or the regular Zigs, is that they're very lightweight. I mean, you, you don't even really feel like, I've got these yellow ones on now, you don't even really feel like you've got them on. And I'm just, I'm stupid when it comes to color. So let's just get it out there. I've got, this is my P90X shoes. These are my Insanity shoes, or these are my Asylum shoes, my Insanity shoes, and my Asylum T25 shoes because these yellow ones right here are T25 as well. I'll tell you where I found these the orange and solid yellow ones I just recently got. I got them on Amazon for 45 bucks a piece. Back when I was buying some of these, like Finish Line, uh, if you have a Finish Line store near you, they carry, they usually carry a pretty good selection. I'm noticing that the Zig transitions are starting to get phased out and I'm not sure why, but I have a, I have a think I have a suspicion I'll show you in a second. So these are all transition 2.0s. The Transition 3.0 is out. I have not tried that shoe yet. I don't know that there'll be that much of a difference. It's probably just a little bit different styling. Um, I bought these thinking that they were the Transition 3.0, but they're not. These are actually the Real Flex running shoe. And the difference, as you can tell, is the bottom. You can tell because of the way the grip goes all the way across on these, on the 2.0s, and on the running, the Real Flex running shoes, the grip does not, the black line does not go all the way across. Other than that, not that much of a difference, except for really in the balls of the feet. And then obviously in the, in the toes, you got smaller squares there. When I've worn these, and I wore them during Asylum, I believe, and, and doing different things, I didn't notice that much of a difference. So I think you'd be fine either way. But this is an interesting shoe. This just came out. You can't even get, I had to actually order it on finishline.com because they're not even, they're not in the stores, and at the time that I'm shooting this video, they're not even on Amazon yet. This is called the Real Flat, or this is called the Zig Carbon. And the reason why it's called the Zig Carbon is because there's actually carbon fiber in the sole of the shoe. And you can tell, if you look at it from the side, you can see where they've kind of broken up the soles, and the Zig pattern stops, and there's the gaps in the spaces. Not really sure why. Don't know what the purpose of that pattern is or what it does. What I will tell you about this shoe and why I think this may be my new favorite shoe once they start getting more colors, because right now it's just red and black, is that it's got the it's got the chunky base of the Zig regular, the old Zig and the Shark. It's got that chunky base feel, but it's a very lightweight shoe. It's almost like the body of the of the transitions with the sole and apparently an improved carbon sole of the Zig shoe. 
So if you, you know, it's kind of like a morph between the Zig and the Real Flex transitions with some funky carbon fiber. Now, and that's the best way I know how to describe it. I like this shoe a lot. I really, really do. It's lightweight, so I don't feel heavy and chunky like the Zigs. And it's got the flexibility of the transitions, but it's got more stability on the sole for your lateral work for people like Alicia. So I'm probably going to get her a pair of these and see if that uh, gives her a better shoe for what she's wanting to do, with, especially with trans, uh, Focus T25 and Asylum and stuff like that. So this is probably where we're heading. But um, that's it. All right. So if you got any questions, reach out to us, info at ncfitclub.net. Find us on Facebook, getfitwithtod.com. And check out our website, ncfitclub.com. Got a lot of cool things going on there, contests and challenge groups and all kinds of cool stuff. So that is it. See you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>